Stranger Things is one of the most popular TV shows around the world right now. Season 4 has been a huge hit after season 3 was aired 3 years ago, so much that people even started predicting what could happen in season 5 right away. Is Max going to die? Where will they put Will and Mike? Will the love triangles be resolved? Will Eddie come back? What will happen to Steve? Hi, I'm Zeynep. Today I'll talk about Stranger Things, not about the series last season. Eddie has already made a video about the evaluation of the whole series, which you can find the link to in the information box. Today I'll share with you our speculations of what could happen in season 5 and how the Duffer brothers may be putting hints at the last season and the seasons before too. First, let's revisit the last scene of the season. Here we can see Jonathan and Nancy, Joyce and Hopper, Will and Mike together from back to the front respectively as duos. And Eleven is at the front alone. As Duffer brothers announce that they will be returning to their original pairings, this may mean that we will see these pairings working together. If we look at Nancy and Jonathan, Jonathan is a bit ahead of Nancy, which may mean we will see him more as a hero. And then we see Joyce and Hopper holding hands, which may hint that we will not see them apart and they will stick together the whole season. Will and Mike standing together says that Mike will be a bit driven away from Eleven to Will finally, like the first season. As the ones that are on the most front besides Eleven, it means that they will be the most important duo of this season, again returning to the series roots. The arrangement of the duos may hint at their hierarchical importance plot-wise in the season, and also something may happen to one of the people in each pairing, though I think Jonathan, Hopper, Will and Mike are safe because their plots were not intriguing for the last two seasons and thus it wouldn't make sense to kill them off at the end. To talk about Eleven's position in the scene, she is the only one that has passed the line between the Upside Down and the real world Hawkins. This may be implying that at some point, she will be traveling to the Upside Down alone, before the two worlds be landing completely. I believe there were so many plots and they couldn't really connect to each other in the last season, unlike in season 1, especially the Russia plot. So I assume that Joyce and Hopper will finally work with the kids this season and not have a completely distinct plot. The audience completely forgot how maternal Joyce was, and I think we need to see the essence of that character again. I will keep these lights up until the day I die if I think there's a chance that Will's still out there. I believe that even though Might Flayer was brought out from Will, he still has a connection to the Upside Down. Since season 3, he has been feeling the presence of it whenever he was at Hawkins. I felt it before, whenever he was close. What if he never left? I'm not sure if it still has a remnant inside Will, like a horcrux in the Harry Potter series, which makes him see how the villain thinks. You know who? He knows what we took, and he knows the hunting horcruxes. But Will is hinted to be in the wizard role whenever they play Dungeons and Dragons. We also know that Vecna is the dark wizard. This may mean that Will has superpowers, like Eleven and Vecna, but we have never seen him using them in a controlled manner yet. I still think he may be the Harry of the series at the end. He is found to be so similar to Henry Creel, isolated and different, like Harry is similar to Voldemort. But like the message of the Harry Potter series, the side you choose to act upon is important. It is not our abilities that show what we truly are, it is our choices. This also makes it possible to make Will the main character of season 5, besides Eleven. To talk about our main group of kids, Will, Mike, Dustin and Lucas, we haven't seen this group together since the end of season 2. It seemed like none of them cared about each other anymore for the last two seasons. Where's Dustin right now? You don't know and you don't even care and obviously he doesn't either and I don't blame him. I think the Duffer brothers will be returning to this dynamic. Dustin has been apart from the main group for so long to make fan service, as Dustin and Steve were so beloved as a duo. Lucas hasn't been spending so much with the group either, as he cared about Max so much. Max being in the hospital, Lucas will be integrated into the group more. In the picture Will has drawn, Lucas is seen to be on the horse. He may be one of the most important heroes of the season. And as Dustin was more prominent as a character than all the characters of their group for the last two seasons, I think he will be pushed a bit to the back, letting other characters shine. To analyze Will's painting that he showed Mike more, the villain they were fighting was a three-headed dragon. It's speculated to be Boris from Dungeons and Dragons, the most powerful creature. And also it resembles Tiamat, which is a five-headed dragon, the queen of evil dragons. 
the three-headed dragon resembles both and hints that something bigger than Vecna is coming as a villain, superior to him. Okay, so let's talk about Steve. Even though he's a fan favorite character, I never really bought his integration to the main group. Since season 3, this character was given a lot of main plots and he put all the main characters in the shadow, especially Will, Mike and Jonathan. So much that the fans say they don't care about these characters anymore and it's better they kill them off. I need to say that there's no way these three will die, because the deaths of the last season should be really effective and emotional for the audience. And being overshadowed for so long, if the characters die this season, the majority of the audience won't feel bad for them and their existence in the story won't make any sense, though I love those characters. The fact that they haven't still died even though they were background characters for the last two seasons should make sense. But people from the main cast should be dying this season. As Millie Bobby Brown criticized the Duffer brothers that they weren't killing any important characters and the cast is expanding and they defended their choice, I believe they were saving the deaths for the end of the series to make an impact. At this point, Steve is one of the most beloved and important characters of the series and he has been in a lot of dangerous situations yet survived all of them. And he was written to be killed off the first season, which the Duffer brothers decided not to do later on. It's possible that his death was saved for the last season. One of the most important details was that Steve really couldn't do much of a thing in season 4. He was pulled through the water gate to upside down and was bitten by a lot of demo bats. Eddie was killed by the bats but nothing happened to Steve by those bites. I think those bites may have transmitted something from upside down and may cause Steve to be possessed by a superior force. Do you guys think that these bats have like rabies? Because once the symptoms set in, it's too late, you're already like dead. For the whole season, we actually watched Steve become vulnerable. He poured his heart out to Nancy at every opportunity and even though Nancy had some googly eyes in most of the situations, she didn't really respond to his feelings. I always had this dream that I'd have this really big family. I'm talking like, like five, six kids spend a week parked in the sand. Sounds nice. Except for the six kid part, that sounds like a total nightmare. He also implied multiple times that he would date Robin, but it was impossible because she was gay. Me and Robin, it's not like we're dating. I mean, we're daters, just, we're friends, we're just friends. Right. Even though he acts like her rejecting him didn't hurt him, I think Steve is sad that he can't be with Robin and tries to hide it. Also, he can't really demonstrate his physical powers in dangerous situations because he's hurt every time. So, he's at a weak point. As Vecna intended to take Max as his fourth victim, but she was resurrected by Eleven after her death, Vecna still has one victim to kill. Steve being vulnerable kind of makes him a perfect candidate among the people in the main cast. Thus, I think something will happen to Steve. And if that happens, Robin, Nancy and Jonathan may have to work together. Although, I really think something will happen to Robin too. Not everything has a happy ending. Yeah. It might not work out for us this time. In season 4, it's impossible not to notice how much awkwardness the writers put between Nancy and Steve. Earlier today when you basically threw yourself at Nance. But as a lot of time has passed since they've been together and as Nancy loved Jonathan, the topic wasn't mentioned for two seasons. But I think there's a reason to revert back to this dynamic and the writers are doing this consciously. When the group is in Upside Down, in Nancy's room, she discovers that her room has a lot of old items that were given away a long time ago, and the last entry to her journal is the day the gate was opened. She says she had given away her stuffed animal years ago, yet at the end of the last episode, her mother brings some of the old stuff she found in the attic. At that point, the Upside Down and the real world were beginning to mix. And we know that clocks were used a lot in season 4 when Vecna targeted his victims. In the scene where Vecna lets Nancy see his past, the grandfather clock is going backwards. I predict that there will be a time travel to the past. And I think that was the reason there were a lot of romantic scenes between Nancy and Steve. The characters were feeling what they felt in the past towards each other, especially when they traveled to Upside Down, as the date in the Upside Down was the day Steve and Nancy slept together. This may also be the reason why the writer said they will be reverting to the pairings in season 1, indicating the time travel to their roots. I don't know how they will resolve the love triangles, but I think Jonathan and Nancy will talk about their relationship problems in between, as they will work together throughout the season. And as for Will and Mike, I think Mike will understand that Will has feelings for him at some point. And us? We're friends! We're friends! But even if he doesn't reciprocate, the love between them will be a driving force to fight against the alleged villain. Also, someone hasn't been mentioned since season 2, Cully. 
She was a lost sister of Eleven and she had superpowers of making anyone see anything she wanted them to see, a paralleling power of Vecna. The Kali plot was seen to be nonsense when it was put in season 2, but I think the Duffer brothers mentioned her for a reason. I think she'll be coming back and will help defeat the villain, as her powers are similar to Vecna. Finally, I would like to talk about Max. I really didn't understand what they were aiming for when they didn't kill Max at the end of the season, as her bones were broken and she was in a coma. This may be because they may be targeting another victim, as I said, which I predict to be Steve. Also, I think something will go on inside Max's brain. There will be a fight in her brain between Eleven and the alleged villain, but I really think Max will die at the end of the season. Otherwise, it wouldn't really make sense because her body is in a really bad condition. And as for Eddie, I didn't really think he would be coming back as the writers announced he is dead for real. But in case of time travel, we may see the people who died in earlier seasons. But I hope they don't try to repeat the dead army plotline in season 3. Even though it would be kinda unconventional to kill the main character, there is a possibility Eleven will die at the end too. I'm guessing that as seen in the last scene of season 4, Eleven will sacrifice herself for the sake of the passage between the upside down and the real world being completely closed. Though unlike season 1, she could die for real this time. The people alive will be the main characters of season 1. Lucas, Will, Mike, Nancy, Jonathan, Joyce and Hopper. Although I'm still not sure if Dustin will survive in the end, but all the characters other than these are in danger in my opinion. These are what I think will happen in the last season. It would be pretty cool if they came out to be true. Thank you for watching. What are your opinions? Comment below. See you in the next videos. Bye!